Hey guys, so as you just seen, I swatched all of the eight colors from the collection. There are a total of eight colors, so I just wanted to give you a quick review on these Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. That's what they're called, that's their actual name. So first of all, there's eight colors in total. They range from a very, very nude to a very deep, dark, vampy color. So there is a color for everyone in the range, whether you like your nice red, you like your nice nude, you like a nice terracotta color, kind of like what is on my lips. I'm not going to lie to you right now. My lips are burning from doing those swatches for you guys. A burning. I don't know if you guys can even tell. It's like red around here. I do not know how these girls did all of those ColourPop matte liquid lipsticks because I could not do it if I were them. Trust me. This on its own hurts already. So anyway, uh, my quick review on these is, first, I love the color range. I love the fact that there's different colors for whatever taste you have for different seasons. I love the fact that these smell like vanilla cupcake, vanilla icing. So it doesn't have a paint smell to them. It doesn't have a plasticky smell to them. Most people would prefer not to have a scent, period, but I don't mind the scent. I wish, honestly, I wish that they would make these permanent because, to be honest with you, this is one of the most comfortable lines that I have tried. Now, saying that, there is a line that is permanent that I feel is very comparable to this line. So if you are on the hunt for these or you have tried these, I would suggest try the Sleek Matte Lip Creams. They are the same consistency and the same feeling on your lips that these are. As soon as I put the first one on, I was just like, oh my goodness, these are the Sleek Lip Ones. And let me grab one to show you what I'm talking about. So this is what the matte sleek ones look like. They come, I think, in five different colors only, but I'm telling you, this is the same formula as these. Now, let me explain to you the formula. I feel that these are different from your typical lip creams that are out now because one, on my lips, they're not extremely drying by any means. Like right now, it doesn't feel like paper. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. And I don't feel like I need to, to place something on it to keep it moisturizing. The other thing that I love about this formula, it does not accentuate my fine lines. I've had other liquid lipsticks that really accentuate the depth of my fine lines. And this one is one of those lines that is not extreme with it very comfortable to wear. I forgot that halfway through the day I was wearing these. The uh, actual paddle of these I really like. It's a flat uh, paddle on here. I will say that when you open these up, I would suggest wipe off the excess because you do get a lot of product coming out of them. And if you just wear what it, you just pull this out and put it on your lips, you're gonna get a mess. You're gonna get it all over your teeth you're going to get it all over the inside of your mouth, which this line does the same thing, the sleek one. That's why it reminded me so much of them. At first, I didn't like that, but then I learned how to use these. So I wipe it off, and then I don't need to use a lip liner. Swatching all these for you guys, I did not feel that I had a hard time lining my lips or even lining my cupid's bow. So I just would swipe here, and then the actual point here is so easy to just go like this and just like make sure that your cupid's bow is done. It's a very, very good uh, paddle at the end of it. I like that uh, one that they made for these. So I love the smell, I love the formula, I love the wear time of these, I love the color. The only thing I don't like is the fact that they are limited edition. These are not your typical liquid lipsticks. To me, they feel like a gel form because they do not dry right away. Like you swipe and you can keep swiping and you can build them, but they don't dry too fast where you either get that crackliness or um, you start to feel the hardness. It really doesn't. It takes a little bit for it to dry, like maybe a, a lot, a few more seconds than your typical ultra matte lipstick. But I like the fact that it does take a little bit because I can kind of perfect it and take my time with it. And then it, it feels like a very, it's a very liquidy formula. 
so it's not thick it's not moussey it's a very runny formula sort of I don't want to use runny because it's not running all over your face when you put it on your lips but it's more of a liquid form so it's easier to work with in a way and that's why I feel like these are so lightweight I really do like this I know that some people have very dry lips and these still may dry out your lips but for someone like me that doesn't have very dry lips these are so tolerable I love them now with some of the darker colors they are a bit patchy the lighter color like this light color um uh, adore is not my color girlfriends but obviously I bought all the colors to swatch them for you and give you my review. This one is patchy. It will accentuate your dry patches. So be very careful with the lightest color, which is the nude. And uh, the dark color, which is called Flirt. This one you have to build in layers because if not, you're going to see the your lips. You're actually going to see your lips coming through. And it's going to look patchy. Like you're going to see darker here and then down on on here you're gonna see a little bit lighter so you have to build this one up it doesn't it's not opaque on the first swatch I love the color that I am wearing the color that I am currently wearing is beloved this is one of my favorites I love lust another one that surprised me that I really do like is crush which is this brown color it's really pretty and I absolutely love embrace embrace is this purple purple plum tone color I love this color for the fall so would I recommend these yes I would definitely recommend these for those that do not have extremely dry dry lips I love this formula I really really do I was very hesitant because I I have enough liquid lipsticks and I have um you know liquid lipsticks are very tough to wear especially in the winter time because your mouth is so dry but I can get away with wearing these. I truly do like them. I'm not going to lie to you. I really did like them personally. I love the fact that they, the, the gel-like formula. But if you cannot get your hands on them, these are basically the same thing. And these are permanent. And I think these are probably no more than 8 bucks a piece. I think. Uh, it's by Sleek Makeup. These are the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. So these, I don't think... Yeah, these don't have a scent at all. So if you don't like the scent of the Milani ones or any kind of like vanilla, vanilla-y scent, these don't have a scent at all. So I think they only come in like five or six colors though. So that's the downside to them, but they are permanent and I love that formula as well. So I would hands down definitely recommend them. I apologize for my lips. I could see all this right here all red. I'm sorry. So that is my thoughts on these. If you can find them, go ahead and grab the colors. Obviously, you do not need all the colors. I would say that one color isn't exactly like another color. So if you are wondering, well, I could pass out on that one because it's kind of like sim it's similar to the other one. I honestly felt like each of them looked very different on my lips. So I wouldn't say that one is similar to another. You can get away with just getting the one. I saw them being all different on my lips. I want, I know there's a million videos like this swatching these, but I wanted to show you guys on my skin tone with my type of hair, with my eye color, to give you guys an idea of what they would look like on you if you have some similar skin tones and hair features like I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Uh, like this video. If you did like it, I will list them down below uh, just like I uh, put them on on my lips. I do believe, and I'm not sure by the time this video goes up, but I do believe that you can get these online at Milani's website and they did restock them. So I'm crossing my fingers by the time this video goes up, they are still available for you. I paid, I think, $5.99 a piece for these. So that was not bad at all. And it was buy one, get one half off at the time. So I literally snagged these for a steal. Thank you again so much for all of your support. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.